he just recently did a video of. Uh, he had some trouble troubleshooting it and uh, really wasn't any trouble for him but he was uh, thought it was an interesting problem that he had to get out his oscilloscope to figure it out and I can tell you right now that this amp is sounding better than it's ever sounded and is in the top three. I've owned a ton of Fender amps. At the moment this amp is in the top two or three or four Fender amps I've ever owned and it's right up with contention for number one. This thing sounds so good and it's incredible because to me it doesn't have any old RCA tubes in it. Well maybe one. It has all tongue saw, Russian made top of the line tubes. This amp sounds fantastic right now. It's quiet you listen to it, I can turn both knobs on 10. You can't barely hear it. You can hear the you can hear the vibrato beating just barely. Other than that, I mean this amp is screaming loud right now. Which is not where I'd ever really run it. But just to give you an example of what it's sounding like. And the tone I'm getting right now. FEIC Fender Cam. sustains even more than that. speaks for itself. Sure does. <laughs> Princeton, uh, not really a collector's item. It is an ultimate player's guitar. This amp is gig ready. It's got all the right upgrades. It has a Weber speaker in it. Mm -hmm. It's bad to the bone. Yeah. This, it's uh, if you want to get, if you have a bass player and a drummer that don't play super loud, you can play gigs with this amp. This amp was, sounds real nice. So, there it is. All right, man. 
Yeah, what we're doing is an amp check video, okay? So we're going to feature a couple of these little boutique amps. But the first one is the Plex Z. Plex Z. <laughs> that Tony has always wanted the sound of a Marshall amp or a Deluxe or a Champ in a small power amp. And that's what this is. So that's what we're doing. So that was Marshall, right? That was definitely Marshall. All right, man. <laughs> let's, let's see what else it can do. Here's so, the champ. Yep. Yep, we got the tone. So what we have is, it's called the Optiplex knob. Okay. It's the Optiplex knob, which it gives you a, a variance in your bandwidth that yep. makes the difference in the tone stack that gives the different voices. Yep. This is the deluxe voice. <laughs> Six K six amp. Yep. Class A. Another little. Uh, it's like a micro champ. Kind of a one trick pony. Doesn't sound too bad though. <laughs> playing the premiere that I just rebuilt. Now this is stock, 
Okay, and I've told you guys it doesn't really have the gain, but it appears to have a good tone. It's got so, a great tone. So here we it's, go. Uh, very low gain though. It's like the, this is the anti marshal <laughs> it's, it stays clean no matter how you put it all the way up, it stays clean. Okay, now guys, this amp was designed as a head. Okay, there is a little five inch speaker in it, but that's like a novelty thing. Okay, it's really supposed to be a head, and here is what it sounds like. Just like the Plexi, except it doesn't have the except it doesn't have plexi the uh, variable bandwidth. Bandwidth. Right. Yep. Which is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it, it's a great sound of little it's amp. It's a great sound of amp. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, this one, I like it when it sounds like this. <laughs> Do you play my amps, man? <laughs> All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to. Hello, this is our after service check for a Fender Basement for the Piano Forever people. Um, this is a beautiful amp. I wish I knew where he finds these things. He gets some of these amps that look like we got in a time machine and went back to 1964 and bought them. <laughs> This one's a beauty, it's got a real nice sound. So Jerry just put the caps in it. And like all these old amps, these FEIC, they've got the most beautiful sustain and chime of anything you can find. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
deluxe mode. So Tony's back on the Plexi amp. And he wants to give you some words of wisdom on the 6AQ5 tubes that he uses. This amp, because of the power tubes, what we have here is basically we're getting all these classic sounds. We're getting a classic Marshall sound. We're getting a classic Tweed Champ sound like Jeff Beck would use or like Joe Walsh used or like Eric Clapton used on the Layla album. We're getting a classic deluxe sound like all the Nashville studio pros used to use. Um, we're getting the, and we're getting the real best of all the Marshall sound in this amp sounds like a freaking Marshall. It sounds like a hundred watt Marshall on ten, but it's qu relatively quiet. I mean, this amp doesn't have a ton of headroom, but it drives, and it's got the most incredible sound in the drive mm -hmm. that you can ever get and it's in a studio quality volume that you could record and <laughs> make a million dollars but it's a million dollar sound yeah and uh that's the most important thing to realize about this amp is it's if you're looking for this fender twin sound this isn't the amp but right. if you want a driving sound of a natural what a natural amp sounds like when it's cranked up for recording purposes, I don't think you could have anything much better than this amp. Cool, man. Hit it. Give him another taste of it. Yeah. Yes. What do we got? Oh, we're you're, on, you're on uh, deluxe. Yeah. We're on deluxe sound. <laughs> Thanks, man. Good demos. Yeah.